Okay, let's come in here and run a quick check on the breeder colony and see how they're doing. This is the second day that they've been here. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick peek and make sure everything is going all right. Let me cut the lights on. Lights are on. Boom. That's King Kong right there. You see the male, the dominant male, he's gonna separate himself from the rest of everyone else. Look at everyone else over there. They're all sitting down and relaxing together. But King Kong doesn't, King Kong doesn't wanna be bothered with anyone. He likes his own space. So, looks like everyone's still doing well. Let me come up a little closer and check if there's anything on here that I need to be worried about. Looking at the color, looking at the skin. All right, so I'm not gonna give them any food right now. They're still adjusting to the environment. So if I put food in there right now, they're just gonna, just gonna sit around. It's not giving, they're not, they're not gonna eat it at all. So I'm gonna probably feed them tomorrow and um, see how that goes. So don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to them if they go an extra day or two days without eating. This is not, these are not Americans here who need to eat every 10 to 15 minutes. These are fish. They don't have the same requirements as humans, so that's what we'll do. So everything's looking good. Temperature's right, oxygen tank is nice and set up, so we can move along. All right, back to the jungle. You can see it in here. So I'm gonna take these tanks down here. These are what I'm gonna remove and place them in the other, uh, in the shed. Now the hard part is, it's still gonna get these tanks down, is getting these tanks down. Um, these things are pretty heavy and you know you have to be careful because I don't want to drop them and crack them. These are nice, pretty expensive tanks as well so that's what we're going to start on right now. It'd probably be better if I had another person with me but sometimes that's just the way it is. There's no reason to prove. Okay, boom, I've got all the tanks removed, as you can see. Boom, boom, er, okay, so now is where the fun begins. Because now what I have to do is, I have to take all of these bricks and get these and move them to the shed. So, I mean, this is a lot of bricks. Let me see, two, four, six, six times, it's about 30 bricks. 30 bricks of moving, and my truck is not working right now, so I have to grab all these by the twos and ship them all the way to the shed. So it's gonna be about 15 trips that I'm not looking forward to. But the flip side of it, it'll be a nice little exercise. And who can't take a nice little exercise? Some of you out there need some exercise. So there's nothing wrong with that. There's no reason to prove. Five trips in. And I already feel like I've lost like three pounds. Crazy. Something funky. Just one more trip. Left. Ooh, man, I'm telling you. That was a nice little workout, man. I'm tired, but I still got more left. So, all right, so we have all the bricks out here pretty much laid down. Now what I have to do is I'm gonna measure in between here, I'm gonna measure in between here the length of the fish tank, the length of the fish tank, and then I'm gonna separate them, separate them to make sure that they have enough space to fit the, the, the fish tank 
um, in between uh, each set of the bricks, each set of the bricks. So that's pretty much what we have to do right now. So luckily this hard part is over with. Man, this stuff right here is no joke. It's no joke, man. We're set up, baby. We're set up. Oh, I gotta wash that one off. That's not clean, but everything else, clean. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do, since we have this foundation set here, is I'm gonna put some two by four pieces that run across the length of this, going all the way across. So it can um, provide more sturdiness for when I set the tanks up there, because um, it's gonna be a lot of weight and a lot of pressure that's going to be on the sides and the um and the bottom portion of the tank so i have to stabilize it as best as possible all right this is what we got so far the lumber is placed across the top of the um the bricks stability is in place so um what's going to happen now is i want to put the tanks up there but i have to clean them first now the problem is it's late you know it's like 8 30 right now 8.30 right now, so um, I need to use a pressure washer um, in order to clean them. And I don't want to disturb the neighbors right now, so I don't want to b start blasting the pressure washer and uh, disturbing the neighbors. You know, although I live in the country and we're, you know, fairly spaced out, you can still hear it right now. You know, the noise levels are increased uh, as the, um, you know, when, when, the, um, when it's nighttime, so you can hear a lot more and it's a lot more disturbing. So out of respect for my neighbors, I'm gonna call it a night, even though I can definitely keep going. I definitely could keep going right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and have a little respect. So I'm gonna call it a night, but tomorrow I will be back at it. And I will finish um, putting these tanks up here and um, cleaning them out and getting all the stuff ready. So with that being said, I'll be back tomorrow.